Hi, Jeff Wilson back with another video of Katia V5. And in this video, I will show you how to design this particular part on your right. And this will be part three of beginner practice series. And so let's get started. Before watching this video, I will recommend if you want to practice two other parts, you can watch my last two videos on my channel. And let's get started. So this is going to be part three. So right here, I have my part. So for this particular part, it looks pretty simple, but I want to make it even simpler if possible. So how would I do that is I'm going to start from this YZ sketch. I'm just going to make two circles if possible so that I can get the bigger part first completed. So I'm going to have radiuses. Two of them, two diameters, small one, one of them is 30, and other one is 55, I'm guessing. Yeah, 55. 55, so two of them. So right from the middle till the origin, in this case, how much is the distance? Let's see. So I have 58 from the top. Is it till the bottom though? Looks like 58 from top to the bottom. Sometimes it becomes hard to actually measure it because it's sort of confusing where the lines intersect. They're not from the bottom. Okay. All right. So it's just 58, and that's not the base. Just to let you guys know. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to pair this. I'm going to use. Mm. mirror extent so it's going to be basically a middle plane and the thickness is 45 so 45 divided by 2 so i can verify if i want like what exactly the measurement is so if any one of you is not sure so you can see 45 millimeters right click on isometric so now i have to work on this particular part yeah, I could have made the sketch on the same plane if I wanted to, but it's better to keep it aloof so that it's easier for you to make any changes if you would need. So second sketch I I got I accidentally got exit out. I wanted to make this as a construction element. And now well not even construction, I need that element. So I can simply use this feature right here. It looks like something like this. I'm guessing straight line coming here, right? And thickness is given. This is given as 22. Yeah, this is given as 22. And what's the angle here? The angle isn't given for some reason. That's very weird. 45 thickness, interesting. Okay, that's very weird. So this angle is, isn't given. Thickness is given, but the length isn't given. So I'm guessing it's going to be at the center, no. This is just what I'm assuming. I'm guessing it's going to be at a level of right in the middle, I'm guessing. So it's going to intersect right here. Go inside. Oh, not this. All right. I'm going to make a line right from the middle till here. Make it as a construction element. And then I'm going to coincide this particular point with this particular line, which is going to give me. But still, it's not fixed though. Oh, but I, I am doing the diameter right here. So, what's the value? The value of this thing is going to be same as the thickness at the bottom, which is 50 plus 21. You can see right here, which is 71. So, 71, but it's half, it's going to be half of it. So, 71 divided by 2, right here. Okay, 
Yeah, it looks similar to this, similar to what we are making. It doesn't give us a particular angle. That's the only thing I cannot tell surely that if if I'm right or not. But I'm pretty sure that we are heading in the right direction, though. So I'm going to just mirror it, delete this particular line right here, exit out, exit out, pad it. Mirror extent is going to be 15 in total. Oh, okay. Half of 15, 7 and half in total. There we go, 15 thickness. So I can also make the sketch right here now. This is going to be on the base. Right? And this is going to be a simple sketch. I don't need to worry about much. And how would I do that is I can simply make a center rectangle. Center rectangle right here. And I'm pretty sure there must be other shapes as well. It says a brown. Let's see what's, what exactly that is. Okay, it's not exactly what I was looking for, but good enough. It's one, two, three. And four. I could have made half of it. Not a big deal. Radius is 10. 10 radius all the way around. All right, there we go. And dimension needs to be given. Full dimension is okay. So thickness is going to be okay. This is the length basically I'm referring to. So this length should be 142, right? And the thickness is supposed to be, okay, not this one, not this one. The thickness is supposed to be, just a second, it got stuck. Sorry about that. Just a second, it just got stuck. So yeah, so as I was saying that this is the thing that we are going to work on this. And you can also see that the way I'm designing it right now is slightly different. Because 142 is a dimension that I already gave. And now I'm referring to the width of it from here to here. And that's going to be 50 plus 21 again, the same thing. Because this is 71 right here. I can exit out. But also, if I want, I can simply make another thing, which is right here, of making the holes. So I'm just going to make one of them, then I can mirror it. I already have access, so I can easily mirror it as well. So one hole, I'm just going to dimension it. Just make sure that you automatically doesn't have constraints, because that makes a big issue. You Now you can see in front of me, it's automatically snapping, so I don't want that. So 18 is the diameter. That's a pretty big hole and it says that it's 100 from each other, so 50 from the middle. From here till here is going to be 50. 50 and then also it's going to be 50. So it's 50 and 50 from both sides I'm guessing. Oh, 50 and 25 on this side. You can see right here. Oh, okay, wait a sec. Something is wrong. Okay, so it's 50 from there to there. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. So it's 50 plus 21 and 21 on the other side as well. They are missing one dimension. It's poorly drafted. So 50 is from the middle to middle, and 21 is from the edge to the so it's 50 plus 21 plus 21. So 21 and 21 is going to be 42. Plus 50 is going to be 
92. 42 plus. Okay. So before I fix anything else, I have to fix this particular thing. That the thickness of this sketch is going to be different. So it's going to be not 35.5. It's going to be 92 divided by 2, which is 46. Yeah, that looks good. That makes more sense now. And similarly, this is not going to be 71, it's going to be 92. Yeah, now it looks good as well. So I have one sketch. I'm going to mirror it. Mirror with respect to the middle right here. There we go. These two circles. Mirror with respect to here. There we go. There we go. I have a sketch. I'm going to pad it. I'm going to pad it down. And the thickness is 14 right here. So that will be it. 14. So, yes, we are almost there. Almost there. I'm going to use ZX plane. And I'm going to make a sketch right here. I just need to make sure where exactly the stiffener starts from because it doesn't show me where the stiffener ends. I'm guessing it ends right here. So I'm going to make a projection of this thing. I'm just going to add a projection right here and I'm going to add a projection right here. So these two projection, make them construction element. All right. And now I have to make a line that basically comes from right here. So it comes somewhere here and it ends somewhere there, I'm guessing. I'm also going to project this line, let's say. Construction element, perfect. So this line ends up here right here and I'm going to go inside both of them so it gives me all oh, right this is a close one now so it says 41 I'm guessing 41 is from there to the base so from here till here it's 41 okay that is very awkward and the upper length I'm assuming is going to be same as this one. This point with this point, I'm going to make it coincident. Okay, not coincidental. That at least I want it to be at that level. Yeah. yeah that looks fairly fine. I'm going to exit out. I hope stiffener will work. Okay, it will. Okay. Stiffener is going to be 15. There we go. Looks good. And there we have another part ready. So, this was the third part. Thank you so much for watching. And do we have anything else missing though? Is this 27 and half dimension wasn't used? That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Where can we use that if we need to? But really, yeah, I mean, that's all it. That's what I'm able to see. It doesn't specify it to any particular department. So I'm guessing that this is the way it should be. If we see at the isometric view as well, it resembles very closely. So thank you so much for watching. There will be more upcoming videos with the series for practice beginners. For next part is going to be part four. This is part three. Thank you so much for watching once again. Take it easy. Bye.